Uh, welcome back to the question paper discussion of physics for computer science and engineering scheme. Uh, the exam happened in the year of uh, June, July 2023. So in this session, I'm going to cover uh, the what are the probable questions which are asked from uh, module uh, one and two. We can have a brief discussion. So you can see uh, this is actually the way of uh, question which is appeared for the examination. Some you remember that some units like uh, the is uh, velocity of light, then Boltzmann constant, Planck constant, acceleration due to gravity, mass of electron, uh, everything is given. Apart from that, one uh, like a, a user manual also will be distributed during the time of examination. That is for 2022 scheme. So this is applicable for uh, first and uh, like a, a chem uh, first year uh, computer science branch students. So we'll have a brief discussion. So as you can see, uh, these are the important question uh, which uh, repeat which are repeated in the year of uh, 2023 june so we can see the derived expression for energy density in terms of einstein coefficient uh, in laser action then explain the type of ofc optical fibers what are the types of optical fibers then uh, there is another problem uh, so you have to calculate the wavelength of the light so formula is already uh, given in the key i will be showing you that okay the total weightage is uh, 20 marks from the first part this is 20 so we have option also in the question number two that is also from module one only so we have the question like derive an expression for numerical aperture in the optical fiber weightage is eight marks i'll tell you what and all the things you have to add in the particular uh, answers and kindly uh, verify the ones so discuss the construction working of semiconductor diode laser so which has the weightage of eight marks then another one is problem the angle of acceptance of OF optical fiber is 30 degree when it is kept at the air. Find the angle of acceptance in the medium after refractive index of 1.33, which has the weightage of 4 marks. It's a simple problem. So, like, uh, find out the best option uh, which is available. Either question 1 or 2. Anything you have to answer. Either 1 or 2. So, I'll let you know uh, what are the answer key. Based upon that, you can plan. Okay. Like that, you can expect in the forthcoming examination also. So let me show you uh, the brief idea about answer key. So question number one, uh, derive an expression for energy density in terms of Einstein coefficient. Look at this. So you have to follow the like expression for three process with equation, uh, then solving for uh, this particular segment, uh, then uh, equation for uh, Boltzmann, then Planck's law, Finally, comparison and conclusion. These are the things which are expected. The second question was, explain the types of optical fiber. Okay. So here you are expected to write the following points. You have to uh, explain the classification, uh, then a single, like you can see like single mode, uh, multi-mode, GRIN. So you, you are expected to write the explanation diagram and the applications. Okay. That is the, the condition for uh, question B, 1B. If I talk about to 1C, there is a problem which has the weightage of 4 marks. What are the things you will add? So here you can see, uh, so the main formula, this formula you are supposed to remember. Wavelength is to be calculated. So these are the things which they have provided in the question. Uh, temperature, uh, 330 Kelvin. Uh, then this is the equation. N1 by N2 is equal to e to the power minus delta E by kT. So Boltzmann constant is already provided. Ultimately, you substitute. And you should get like a 632 nanometer. This would be obtained. Okay. So I think you can manage it. So moving on to the discussion. Another uh, question number two. We'll familiar question number two. What are the things you need to add in question number two? Kindly have a look of this. Definitely this will help you to prepare for the examination. Question number uh, two, you can see. See what are the questions we'll familiar. See question number two A. Derive an expression for numerical aperture in an optical fiber. Okay. So, yes. So, explanation, then suitable equation, and ultimately what you are supposed to do is you need to write this expression. See, this expression you are supposed to reach. And uh, proper conclusion also. So, make a uh, proper conclusions. Okay. Then, question number to be discuss the construction and working of semiconductor laser with the energy level diagram okay to be 
I'll be talking about 2B. So 2B is also very simple. So principle and construction working with the like energy level. That band diagram you're supposed to explain. Principle, how does it work? Construction means what are the components? Those things you're supposed to write. So third one. Another one is numerical problem, has, which has the weightage of four marks. Angle of acceptance of optical fiber is 30 degree. Note down this, uh, which is kept at the air that you have to take care. Find medium. Okay, find the angle of acceptance when it is at the medium of refractive index 1.33. So, find the angle of acceptance you are supposed to calculate. Angle of acceptance need to be computed. So, so we'll have the discussion. Yes, look at the uh, solution. So the theta naught is given, n naught is also provided, correct? Then formula is available. See, look at the formula, okay? So this formula you have to be careful. Sine theta naught is equal to n1 square minus n2 square by n naught dash. Okay, that's a formula. So use the formula accordingly. Ultimately, you will get the answer like sine theta, uh, theta naught. From that, you can take the sine inverse. You will be getting like a 22 degree. So this much you should get. Okay, four marks will get easily. Okay, very simple only. So now I'll be moving on to questions from module two. So this is the way how to prepare, practice the similar kind of problems. Okay, these are the really important questions you can expect in the forthcoming examination also. Question number uh, three. We'll move on to question number three. Uh, what is wave packets? Give physical significance and properties of wave function and define the group velocity. Question number 3a. So if I talk about the question number 3a, so we can see what and other things you need to add. See. So define the wave length. Okay. So here, uh, properties and wave, uh, like a wave function, single value then psi, then uh, these are the different, different cases you have to remember, see. Okay. So for add these three points, question number 3b, state and explain the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, give the physical significance, show that electron cannot exist inside the nucleus, that you have to prove. Question number 3b, most important question, I have seen uh, this question for many examination. Okay. Uh, like a statement is required. Similarly, proof of non-extents of electron in nucleus. So this equation you are supposed to prove. Okay, using this condition you are supposed to prove and uh, substitution as well as conclusion. Uh, so these are all the things uh, which includes the weightage for question number uh, 3b. That is uh, eight mass question. Another one is a problem question number 3c. So particle of mass 0.5 m, m, m like uh, MeV per C square has the kinetic energy of 100 electron volt. This is MeV means milli electron volt. Uh, write it de Broglie wavelength, where C is the velocity of light. Find the de Broglie wavelength, which has the weightage of four marks. Okay. They have given the problem, give the importance for problem also. So de Broglie equation you have to recall. So as you can see, this is our de Broglie equation. Write down the given data. Okay. What are the given data? See, look at the given data. M is given. E is given. Lambda has to be computed. So, use the formula. Lambda is equal to H by 2 M E. Okay. From this, you will be getting uh, 1.4 Armstrong. Okay. Uh, or 1.24 into 10 to the power minus 10 per meter. That is also possible. Okay. So, uh, that is regarding question number uh, 3C. Question number 4A. Let's see question number 4A. Derived expression for Schrodinger time independent equation for one dimensional form. Okay, question number four. I want to answer question number four. So you have to prove the equation. Okay, this equation you are supposed to make. First of all, equation for psi, differentiate with respect to t, uh, then we will be getting ultimately this is the final equation. Next, what you are supposed to do is substitute and now redefine for total energy. Okay, this equation, I think you might have familiar. You have to reach this equation. Find the equation of, in terms of one dimension. Okay, that, that is the instruction which is given in the question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर बी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर बी ऑप्टेन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एनर्जी ऑफ आइगन वैल्यूज यूजिंग शोर्ड इंजर टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट इक्वेशन फोर बी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर बी So you know that these are the points you need to add in the exam in the exam point of view. So make a note of this. See? So these and all the things, proper equation, conclusion, everything should be added. Question number four C. So there is a, a numerical example. Okay. So read the question. You have to calculate the highest accuracy with which the position would be determined. Uh, if the error in the measurement of velocity is 0 0.001 percentage for the speed stated. Okay, question number 4C. So we'll see question number 4C. So write down the given data. Yes. What are the given data? So please note on the given data. See, look at this. Minimum error. Then... So you have to uh, calculate delta V. See, you can ca easily calculate. So apply the condition. So the ultimate answer will be uh, 9.65 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter. So remember that. That particular point you have to remember. Okay. So remaining question I am going to discuss in the coming session. If you have any queries, do let me know. So likewise, you plan for the answer. Okay. So remaining question, uh, module question number, uh, sorry, module number three and four will be discussed in the forthcoming session. So thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. One more request. If you're watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe. And if the videos are useful, kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Happy learning. Have a great day.